has the night off. Although details are still limited, our Jake Sarwar brings us the latest from Nancy Coke. Minden Court in the Honeypot section of Nanny Coke looks different than it did on Sunday afternoon following the shooting of a teen. According to our news gathering partners at the Times Leader, police responded a little after 3.30 in the afternoon where a 17-year-old was found with a gunshot wound. A friend of the victim was celebrating the holiday weekend when the news broke on social media. I was scrolling through my Facebook and I seen about a 17-year-old male in the honeypot section that was shot. And I just couldn't believe that's the first thing I thought was, wow, is that someone that I know in my area? The victim was then transported to a nearby hospital where his condition remained unknown. Monday afternoon, Nanny Coke Police Chief Michael Roke confirmed with a media outlet that the victim had died, although this has not been independently confirmed by Fox 56. It's so hard to understand how something that crazy could happen, you know? How easy it is, it seems, for people to just get their hands on firearms. And it's not good with children, especially, because they just don't understand how dangerous it is. Haley says she'll remember the victim as a loving and selfless person. He was just such a loving kid. He would he would shovel for you. He would go out of his way. He'd take the shirt off of his back. He, he loved his mother, his brother, his family. And they're, they're really in my thoughts right now. She encourages the community to come together to support the family as they navigate these new waters. We all need to get together and support the family in any way that we could. You know, I can't imagine losing a, a, a son or a daughter at such a young age. According to law enforcement, the investigation remains ongoing. In Nanny Coke, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first at 10. No arrests have been made in the incident as of this evening. Two children were reportedly injured.